Hi, um, my name is Joe. I just guess I decided to do this vlog for a couple different reasons. One, I've never done one. Two, I see many blogs and many of them seem irrelevant to anything that's going on in possible change for human nature because um, we're all so busy with who we are. Um, or maybe other factors involved. Maybe I shouldn't say it like we're all so busy. I'm not really sure, but um, many of the blogs that I've seen just in the last month, because um, I've been diving into it more, <clears throat> don't seem relevant toward any kind of change, personal, professional, or uh, uh, on a larger scale. So um, I decided to do this blog for a couple different reasons. Um, one, I had a life-changing event last year. Around this time, my, my best friend um, succumbed to cancer. Um, with other complications that changed the way that I thought about things um, and uh, the mortality that we have in this life too. Um, I'm over 40 um, and to anyone can attest to this that turns 40 or is over 40 um, you kind of understand that um, if you haven't um, life is so short um, and you have to make it precious along the way as best you can. With that, I had um, I had decided um, last month in December that I was going to do some changes in my life physically um, for me and um, just to kind of help out the best way I can understand, say that. Um, so I decided to um, uh, sign up for what's called team in training for blood cancer research. I decided to um, run um, a half marathon that's coming up in May uh, and my first training and meeting was yesterday which was the 23rd of January. We did a small walk run. Um, we had an amazing meet and greet. We learned about um, uh, proper shoes, proper workout clothing, um, proper all that stuff we we I met with other people that are on the team that I connected with and everybody had some type of connection to someone losing either um, someone they love dearly to cancer blood cancer or any other type of cancer or something of that nature so it was a profound moment and also a good friend of mine named Rachel had uh, has been doing team and training this is her third event and I thought, well, if she can do this and she's doing half triathlon, um, I can surely run 13 miles to to help save somebody or to get, you know, the voice out there and get the, the research out there and, and the money's out there for it. So this is my first attempt at this. Um, about um, in December, I started slowly running and um, it's very painful. I've never ran. I've exercised. I look pretty decent. Um, um, I'm pretty healthy for my age. Um, there's some definitely things I've changed since then, um, and hopefully in the next several months, not only to gain this wonderful experience, but to bring along people on this journey and 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 see if I can help anybody else that has have been through somebody they really care about passing. I think about my friend every day. I wish he was here to see, see this, but he's not. Maybe he is somewhere. Um, and just to kind of help other people see, you know, that we can all change and work toward a better future for ourselves and humanity. And it, it, it's all about um, creating a legacy and defining an experience. And many humans don't create legacies. We're just too busy and too narcissistic um, to do that. And I'm going to try to change some of my habits into good habits. Um, along the way, I hope to um, lose a little bit of weight um, um, look better, um, hotter I must, might say, I don't know, uh, gain some amazing connections with friends, share my insight with my family and my friends, and, um, I'm gonna try to vlog this, and I'm gonna try to put it up on YouTube, which I've never done, so we'll see how that goes, and see if anybody actually watches it, I don't, I don't know, I'm not really a, a social kind of network person, I mean, I do have Facebook and, and Instagram, but, um, and I just 
generally watch a lot of people and I put a lot of selfies on Facebook. I don't really communicate a lot because I think it's better to communicate um, face to face um, and flesh to flesh than it is just on the social network. But I guess this can get me another avenue towards that and maybe can teach some of the younger generation to not only use social network, but also connect with people face to face, you know, go out there and see the world. It's beautiful. And we don't know how much time we have left to, to experience that. Experience it with yourself, experience it alone. Um, just experience it. More to come. Thanks.